All right. Hi, guys. Welcome back. Here's Taka. Today we're going to be testing out the 2021 makeup trends that Cosmopolitan thinks are going to take off. So the first one we have is a orange-red bold lip. Um, they're saying it should be matte and very vibrant and bold. And then the next one is electric blue eyeliner which I have blue eyeliner, it's not electric, but we're gonna use it anyway. And then lavender eyelids, so purples, lavender on the eyelids for eyeshadow. And then peach lips, a very blotted out, blushed peach look to the lips with a dewy effect. And then we have violet lashes or colored eyelashes, a berry blotted lip, so very stained lips, and then the last one here is glossy eyelids and lips, so pretty much that very dewy glass look. So first I'm going to prime my eyes using my e.l.f. concealer. Um, I wanted to try and make this video as affordable as possible. There are a few products that I just don't have a drugstore option in my collection for and I didn't want to go out and buy anything new so I'm just going to use my concealer and blend that out with a sponge. I do have a little pimple on my nose, so I'm just taking the concealer and putting it on now over my nose so that it gives me more coverage because I want to do a more natural look all over the face. So we're going to be using the Morphe 351 Icy Fantasy Palette and then the Lunar Beauty Moonspell Palette. I only use one shade from the Moonspell Palette. I just really wanted to use that one. Oh, here we go. Today was a little interesting. Taka just wanted to be all over everything. <laughs> so um, as I was saying, there was one shade from um, Lunar Beauty that I wanted to use, but I'm using this purple shade. I don't know the name. I lost the little card that goes in. We're just taking that on a big fluffy brush and blending that all over the lid. We're really blending it out. Me personally, I think that in 2021, from what I see companies releasing and what people are going for, it's really going to be moving away from full coverage makeup and doing more natural washes of color for makeup. Um, so I wanted to try and do that here. So the eyes are actually very minimal. This shade, we're just packing on both lids, and then really blowing out and blending. All right, at this point, Taka just needs his own channel because he just, he has to be on camera the whole time, apparently. All right, from the Lunar Beauty palette, I'm taking Phoebe. It's this really pretty um, glitter shade, but the reflect is a lavender purple, so I thought it would go really well with this look. And we're just putting that all over the lid. For the blue eyeliner, I'm taking my Flower Beauty Kaja eyeliner. It's in this dark blue but I think it's actually like a black base and it's just riddled with blue glitter. It's extremely pretty um, and pairs really well with this look since we put the um, Lunar Beauty glitter shade all over the lid. It blends in very nicely.
All right, now Taka's just being freaking rude, cleaning himself on camera. I do apologize. Okay, both liners are done. I will say that this Flower Beauty liner is a little frustrating. It's easy to use. It's frustrating because you keep having to dip back in, screw the pot, and then shake it constantly um, to get more product. Okay, we're going to be using Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. Um, this is actually probably one of my favorites from the drugstore. This is kind of full coverage. You can see I'm kind of not sure if this is going to work. Um, I'm going to use the smallest amount and then just blend it out as much as I can with my beauty blender to give a natural finish and not be too full coverage. Um, I'm hoping this will work. The finish of this foundation is super pretty, so I think it will blend out really nicely as well. All right, we're going in with the Ofra highlighter and glazed donut. I looked in my collection and I don't have a drugstore highlighter. Um, I thought I had a Wet n Wild one, but I couldn't find it, so um, I'm gonna be using this one for today. For my inner corners, I'm going to be taking this, it's kind of like a sh super shock consistency from the Icy Fantasy palette. I'm going to use this on my inner corners and I'm going to use it all along the lower lash line. As I said, I think it's going to be a very like wash of color look, so I don't think that having a heavy lower lash line is really going to be in style. I still personally prefer that, but this is all about trying the trends that they think are going to take off in 2021. For bronzer, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer in Sunkissed. I dip my brush in and then I did tap off as much of the excess as possible. I do think that like a bronzy skin look is going to be in, but I don't think that it's going to be as intense as it is this year. Um, I think I even went a little too intense, so as you'll see in a minute, I go over it with my um, sponge just to tone it down a little bit. All right, I'm going to use my Alomar Cosmetics blushes, just the two orange ones. On the sides, again, I dipped it in and then I'm just patting off all the excess on the back of my hand. Um, these blushes are so pretty. They do have a sheen, which I personally love, but I always get compliments when I use the Alomar Cosmetics blushes. They're just, they're really pretty. It's a sad day because my IT Cosmetics mascara has run out. So I am using the Big Ego, Big Ego <laughs> mascara from Too Faced. Um, it's okay. I find the wand is just way too big for my eye. I always tend to make a mess. Otherwise, it's a pretty good formula. Um, it does flake on me a little bit, but... Um, if I don't have my IT Cosmetics, I do tend to reach for this one. All 
I'm taking my Dose of Colors Liquid Lip in Sweet and Sassy. Now again, I think it's going to be a very blushed look. So what I like to do to get that effect is I put a little bit of the liquid lipstick on and then I take my finger and I blend it out all over my lips to give it not a clean look, but give it a more of a blushed effect. This is actually really nice if you want the blushed effect, but you want something that is going to last longer and you don't have a lip stain available. Okay, so they said glossy lips, so this makes it not last as long, but I'm going to take my Tower 28 Lip Gloss in Fire. This is beautiful and one of the best gloss formulas, I think. This and Lunar Beauty, to me, are the best glosses. Um, they're not sticky. They are really comfortable on the lips. They, lost, they last as long as glosses last, um, but this one, it does darken the lips a little bit, just so you're aware if you wanted to do this combo, but I think it's a really pretty look. All right, that's it. This is the finished look with the trends from 2021. Um, leave in the comments below if you think you're going to use any of the trends. And as always, beauty is a lifestyle. Be kind to yourself and others. Do what makes you feel beautiful, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye! So I just did an MK Fit workout and I'm very dewy. I'm already dewy, like I'm wearing a dewy foundation and highlighter and all of that, but it's even more so. But I'm actually pretty impressed with how good it looks like. This eye has had some issues, but like this one, it is still going strong in the foundation. I don't see any issues with it. Like, my lip's gone, but I've, like, eaten and everything since I've done it. Wow. I'm impressed. Whew, that was a tough one.